What up, YouTube? It's Serving the Barber 617, and I'm here for part two on a review about these the bevel trimmer slash clipper. I'm on to part two. Backstory short if you watch part one, you seen the last time they kind of acted up on me, but reaching out to bevel, yo, I man, listen. Bevel's customer service is so ill. Like, just by the customer service, I'm a fan. So, doing the part one video, I guess somebody watched it, then hit me up on IG. And then I was like, because it was a Saturday, and I was looking at my phone, and I was like, man, this is some scam stuff. But... The person that hit me up was Tristan Walker, the dude that actually owns, co-owns Bevel and makes all the Bevel, does the Bevel products and stuff like that. The owner hit me up and I'm using like, I, I don't want to show the text messages, but all, all story short, it was just like, yo, sorry that it defaulted on you. We're going to send you one right away and we're going to bless you with some, um, bevel products i'm gonna get into the bevel products after the review but for this for that for the owner to hit me up and be like yo we're sorry he didn't take no slack from the video i did he was just like yo we're sorry we're gonna send you out one right away sure enough they sent me out one quick as hell didn't hesitate and i got this finally and after using it for two weeks i took my time to use this after using it for two weeks i could honestly say i love this clipper slash trimmer or clip trimmer whatever y'all want to call it that i no bull bevel the way they innovate in stuff and they take your stuff to the next level is is gonna make a lot of these people follow their lead like when they first came out with the first trimmer as you know they came out with the bevel the first trimmer and there was a company jrl that followed their lead and just stole the whole design about it but that's another topic for another day but i feel like every time bevel drops when it comes to this clipper trimmer stuff they they're very innovative with it like for them to create a clipper slash trimmer that you could cut in, line up people at the same time is ill. And the thing that is so ill about this, like you would think that only the cutting blade adjusts, but no, the trimmer blades adjust too. You could adjust the trimmer blades. You could pull back on the trimmer blade if you see, or you could close it up. I don't know if y'all see that, but you could pull back and close up the trimmer blade. So like, let's say you're doing a ball fade, you go down all the way to zero to balled out, to make, you could make a hard line and balled out the bottom part. But you could open up the blade so you could fade out that ball line to make the blend. You could literally, you could ball, you could take out ball lines with the trimmer blade. And you could open it up and fade with it or you could blend it up it's just that's so what's so ill about this clipper slash trimmer it's because even the trimmer blades you could pull back open it all the way up to 2.5 or close them to be because you know everybody when you're lining up everybody's gonna be on some 0, 0.0 they want to get the sharpest lines and then another thing about bevel too that yo i don't I yo, I don't know how they do it. You could zero gap these, and you could shave somebody's bottom of their neck. You could shave behind their neck. I mean, yeah, behind their ear. You could shave the back of their neck. You could you could line anywhere, and there's no irritation. There's no grabbing. There's no like sharpness. There's no. But even at the zero zero point, they give sharp sharp lines like i've in this last video i said this 
Bevel, when it comes to giving out crisp, sharp lines, they do that. But the fact that you could zero gap something and not have irritation is ill to me. Because a lot of these blades, when you zero gap them, there's irritation that comes with them. But the fact that you could zero gap these and there's no irritation, like, you know how you have some liners you can't use on the neck, but you could use up here. Like these, like, yo, I'm shaving the bottom of my neck and there's no irritation, like literally. There's no irritation whatsoever. I could do this all day long and it don't hurt. It literally doesn't hurt, like, the sensitive areas right here. It don't hurt. And that's the crazy thing about bevel. I never like, I don't know how they do it. I honestly don't. But the fact that these bevel trimmer blades is like, you could get them a zero gap. You could zero gap them yourself by, the, by just a click of the button, but still be able to be manageable and not cut or like rough up the neck is crazy i did a full video with me cutting with the bevel trimmers and i'm about to show it now These joints don't hurt, do they? Mm -hmm. Yo, you can't even feel them, huh? Nope. If you see that full video, you'll see you see like the whole haircut is pretty much done and the like the lines is sharp. Like it's just I'm just shocked that Bevel is innovative enough to do this and still keep the like they 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 met all the requirements that barbers would like when it comes to a clipper slash trimmer. Don't get it twisted. At sometimes it, it at first it gets kind of um kind of like you're gonna have to get used to the open up with the button and stuff because we're we're barbers we're used to flicking the we're used to this stuff we're used to this we're used to just tapering and this that and third with the lever but it's some used to once you get used it's not that hard to get used to it but once you get used to it like yo i actually like it i i sat here and they say they go for four hours Yes, they do. I'm not going to lie to you. They go for four hours because I sat here a Saturday and did majority of my cuts with this clipper slash trimmer. I, don't, I dedicated myself to only using these. And yes, they go for four hours. The reason why I know that is because they damn near died or they died on me, basically. So I had to switch to my other clippers, but I just wanted to test them out. And don't get it twisted. When they're dying, they're still holding the same amount of power and like RPM speeds with the clipper and the trimmer, even going through them both. So that's a good thing about Bevel. Like even to its dying like battery life, it still holds the same power and speed. I'm just shocked that they actually did this. This is like crazy. Like, even, I know it's like the 2.5 thing. I know for a lot of barbers, it's going to throw y'all off because y'all used to the levers that goes opens only a full inch, like a full one. And the 2.5 is just a little bit, it's like a, a one and a half more. So when y'all have a full one and y'all want to blend, y'all go halfway or this, that. So y'all going to have to do the measurements and stuff different yeah i get it but once you get it like 
it's 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 ill. You could you could ball taper fade with these. You could ball fade with these. You could do a ball drop fade with these and not miss a beat. You could like, but me personally, I, I uh, like I've done bulk with these, and they go through bulk fine. I just don't want to do bulk with them. I like after that Saturday, I don't want to do bulk with them because. I want to use them for cutting and finishing, like like that, like smooth pass over the one and a half to clean up all the frizzy hairs, and then you know what I'm saying, have the drop fade, ball fade with a one and a half. You could do that with with this. You could do burst mohawks with any haircut you want to do. You could do, and the thing, the ty blade, I ain't gonna lie, it's wide. It's it's. Let me, is it the same? I think it's the same. Nah, nah, nah. It's wider. If you, if, you, uh, I don't know how I'm going to show you, but if y'all look, if y'all look, it's wider. It's wider than a baby list. Um, yeah, it's wider than the end. This is definitely wider than um, a wall detailer. The T, T outline blade is wide. So, because it's so damn wide, some people might be uncomfortable. But me, I like, I like, I like the wideness of it because it covers more area. So, the end they give you, where's the other one? The the square blade. They give you the square blade. So, if you pre-ordered, they give you an extra T blade. So, this is the cutting blade. The thicker square blade is the cutting blade. This is the cutting blade. This is the square blade. This is the trimmer. You can line with these square blade. And this is the T wide blade. If you pre-order, they send you an extra T wide blade. But I'm be honest with you. I'm just, yo, if it's a um KG um keep it, sell it. KSG, if I do my KFG message, keep it seller or give it away, I'm keeping these shits. I'm give a damn. I'm keeping them. Man, forget all that. I got mad clippers at my station. I was trying to trim down, but shit, I'm keeping these. These is like, yo, these is, it's just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I just, I'm just shocked by the annuity, it, it like innovative this of this trimmer slash clipper because the fact that you can have it cut and then slap a trimmer blade on and zero gap it and it won't leave no red marks or no lines or no welts and still cut ill i appreciate it but you know what's crazy as ill as this is i gotta get to something else about bevel so right to, to thing, to like, they sent me an extra like care package. So this is a waivers and beard palm, pomade. And they got the bevel beard conditioner and the beard oil. They sent it to me for free. Thanks, Richard Walker, Marcus Hart. Thank you, brothers. I appreciate it. Yo, for the fellas that got crazy beards that be matted and be like, you know, when you comb out your beard, it'd be like all the way out. Before you comb out your beard, you might want to use this stuff. Like this beard conditioner, like you put this joint in your beard, just rub it in. It makes your beard so damn soft, yo. I was like, what the? It's just like you take a comb after a brush and just brush it through. It lays down your beard fucking so damn nice. And it keeps it soft and smelling good during the whole day. Like it's just you don't have you know how you get out the shower and you don't you put lotion on, but you don't put nothing on your beard and your beard looks mad ashy. But even the beard conditioner gets it soft and then with the beard oil, this is what makes it shine, yo. 
this joint like and the beard oil smells good the beard oil smells good and the like the thing i like about it is they got their own scents so some days if you don't if you just have you could keep a beard oil the bevel beard oil in your car and like you know what i'm saying you forgot to put the conditioner you could put the beard oil in and just but i'm not i'm i don't got a crazy beard i don't do the crazy beards i always because uh, as much as people grow out their beards i just i always keep it at a trim certain level because i hate like wolfy wolfy beards that's just me but this stuff right here yo this stuff right here man this they 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 beard and their beard products is I highly recommend for all beard guys to get these get this combination and then I'm not even I'm not even yo they say this is a pomade two in one pomade for waivers and beards yo as far as waves go this pomade like my hair's all the way up like you know what I'm saying but I've used it because I still got Still, uh, in my in my later years, I still got hair and I still got a couple waves. I don't got too much, but I got something. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple waves. But to all my waivers, this is this is the probably the best waiver product for waivers I've ever came across with and used. It smells good. And I'm going to tell you why. Because all my waivers that know this that started, y'all know about sporting waves. I can't tell you. Everybody knows about 360 style and sporting waves. And um, it gives you the sporting waves hold, but without the greasiness and the heaviness of the sporting waves. If y'all, all my waivers know what I mean. This stuff right here, it's light. It it don't take a lot to like put in your hair. It just take a dime drop, like, and it melts in your hand, and you just rub it in your hair, and then you brush, put a wave cap or a do rag on. But it actually is, it actually works. It actually sh makes your wave shine, makes them soft, but a nice hold on them. And it's not hard to wash out. That's the thing about a lot of these waiver products. They either don't give a good hold to your waves or they're so damn, they hold so tight, it's hard to wash them out. Y'all know the sporting waves. Y'all know how y'all have to be in the shower, wash, and then do a brush to get the grace out, and then do another wash. You have to wash your hair damn near three times to get all the sporting waves out. This product here... It actually, yo, I and I've used it. I'm not, I, I, I can't back up something I don't use. I've used it. And to be honest with you, this is the first waiver's pomade that actually holds, keeps your hair soft, gives it a good shine, but it's not hard to wash out. It's not, it's easy to wash out. You could just go in the shower, put the soap, I mean the shampoo, and, and wash your hair and that's it that's what i like about these products yo i'm gonna be honest with you y'all need as far as waivers barbers y'all need to check out bevel yo bevel's stepping the game up i'm sorry for them to come out with a clipper slash trimmer and then i've always known they had beard products and stuff like that but i feel like my like my beard is like not diesel not that D's. I don't let it grow out crazy. And plus, I'm I'm not that dude. But after using these products, <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to say. I'm going to start buying them. No bull. And I would hope if I could, like, you know what I'm saying, try to get, like, a supply so I could sell some of their Waver's Pomade at the shop because it's actually a good product. Like... Man, invest in your hair. Stop buying these two dollar spoiled waves jars and stuff like that, and having these, you know, these um, 
these um grease pimples in your head because all that grease be sitting up on your head. Invest in it. I, like I, I got mines for free from Bevel. So I don't I don't know how much it is, but I'll look it up and I'll give y'all a heads up on it. But it's just yo, the even the from the beard conditioner to the beard oil to the and they said the waivers pomades for waivers and beards. Man, listen, the beard conditioner and the beard oil, just keep that for your beard. And don't waste that product. You can waste it, but you don't need to. Man, you use that for your head. Use the waiver's pomade for your head. Keep it like that. But, yo, I actually appreciate the fact that they're really stepping up the game. Like, I know it's just one clipper slash trimmer, but... There's a lot of innovative like ideas in this clipper slash trimmer that I could see a lot of companies doing after this. Like from the like even the body. They had the body on the first, and then you you know who stole the idea of the body style. So, but just to have a clipper and a trimmer all in one, I listen. I guarantee you, you're going to start seeing clipper companies sending out extra blades with their um, trimmers. Like, what was it? Um, the Andis Goldmaster or does um, the, 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 the Rose Goldmaster, what they give? A, a, a Fade Blade 2? They gave Fade Blade 2. Like, <laughs> you're going to see... I guarantee you're going to see another Clipper company come with probably the same idea or take some ideas from this and be innovative and put it in their Clippers. Because this is this is something less field from any Clipper. For you to use, to you, could you could use a Clipper, like the housing is for a Clipper and a Trimmer in one. And then not only that, you got different blades for the Trimmer. Square and around, they send you the square and the TY they send you for the trimmer. That's just ill. But like I only, only those are, I'm talking all pros. Only con I have, and I hate to say it's a con, but the only con I have, I hope Bevel comes out later with something. No charging dock. It's the only con I have. God damn it. Shit. No charging dock. Like in in the barber game, these these companies, you gotta have charging docks for these clippers. You need a charging dock bevel. That's the only con I have. If y'all could somehow like later on create a charging dock and thing, it would be ill. Like I there would be no cons for me. But charging dock, y'all gotta get one. Y'all gotta get one. Are you all my clippers on charging docks from s every one of them, and the ones that ain't, they just in my draw. But but I have charging docks, but they all match up with the charging docks on my station, so I don't really have to like you know what I'm saying. If I want to charge one after one's charged, I take the other one clipper out and put it on the charging dock. Charging dock bevel. If y'all really want to have this clip because y'all ain't do this trimmer ain't a household trimmer no more it ain't for the fathers on father's days that's just buying them for the like the kids that's buying them for their father and father just to line themselves up and be on the go that was that you could you could get away with that with the first one these joints are actually for barbers y'all 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 did them for barbers because y'all have the cutting blade and the two and two blades. I don't think y'all gonna be sending all that for just home use. These are for barber use. These are for joints that need to be used in the barbershop. So please, y'all need a charging dock. Y'all need a charging dock. But other than that, yo, this is this was a L Bevel review. I'm actually happy with this after even the malfunction. It came back strong. I appreciate the whole Bevel team for like sending extra products and just 
Like just being on your real customer service stuff because I guarantee you, Wall's owner won't hit me up. And this owner would have never hit me up. The fact that y'all, the owner of fucking um, Bevel hit me up is a big good look. So I appreciate it. But other than that, this is Irving the Barber 617. This is another review wrapped up on these, the Bevel Clipper Slash Trimmer. And I'm out. Peace.